Hi there, I'm Alex and I hope you are all having a fantastic day. Now, we have a lot of great videos and resources on how you can use MSIX that you can find on our YouTube channel as well as our blog and user guide. But we never addressed what are the challenges in adopting the MSIX technology. MSIX has been around with us for two years now and in those years we have seen great improvements and additions to the technology. MSIX is the technology of the future and that is why we need to talk about the MSIX shift and why you should start preparing for it. With AVI packages closing to the end of life in 2026, the reality of a transition to MSIX is much closer and many are starting to research the ins and outs of what it entails. Now, MSIX comes with useful new features like containerized applications, which includes Win32 executables, Microsoft Store deployments, easy integration within infrastructure management tools like SCCM or Intune, reliable installation, 99% as Microsoft states, uh, network optimization through downloading only the 64K block and many more. But like every new technology, it comes with some challenges that we need to get to know and overcome at least until it's widely adopted and people understand it enough to create workflows and set best practices. You need to ac account for an adjustment period. Now, let's start with what are the transition challenges that might appear. It's obvious that first, it requires research and training, as it happens with all new technology and tools and processes. The first step to take when faced with it is to allocate time to research it and learn exactly how it works. But keep in mind that MSIX is still an in-development technology, meaning that a simple training document shared with others will just not cover it. People will actively have to stay informed of these changes, new releases and updates of this technology. Before starting to implement anything, it is best to research which of the tools available fully support MSIX management and select the one that best fits your needs. Tools help you organize and simplify the work when transitioning and migrating to MSIX. Microsoft offers a free tool called MSIX Packaging Tool, but it's limited only to MSIX packages. Actually, the first tool to support MSIX is Advanced Installer who was the launching partner of MSIX technology at Developers Day in 2018. And Advanced Installer offers the possibility to work with multiple packaging technologies like MSI, AppV, TNAP and contains many more features. The most critical point to MSIX is related to certificate handling and mandatory digital signing. While MSIX packages could be digitally signed, this step was optional and often ignored or skipped. However, with MSIX, digital signing is mandatory and you can't install your MSIX package if it's not signed. This is a very important change to keep in mind when transitioning. Digital certificates come in three types. Standard code signing certificate, EV code signing certificates, and private code signing certificates, uh, aka test certificates that you create on the spot on your machine. Now, I'm not going to go through the certificate types and explain them, but if you want to learn more, there is a link for a separate video about them in the description. Another point to keep in mind about certificates is that you should discuss how they are handled within your company or organization. Uh, some questions to address will include, uh, will you give the certificate to each software packager and risk a security breach? Or will you use Azure digital signing. There is no perfect solution at the moment, but if you don't want to use Azure digital signing, I recommend that software packagers use a test certificate to do quality assurance on the package and then a real certificate is used to sign them and push them in the production. Once your team has completed formal training, it's time to test repackaging applications through pilot phases. You should start with simple applications like Notepad++, DLC Media Player, 7-Zip and so on. Uh, in this way, it will be easier for people to understand and get a feel of how MSIX works. This also gives them a chance to encounter scenarios where additional fix-ups are needed 
and helps them as a learning curve on how to use this kind of fix-ups. Practix makes perfect and each repackaged application only builds more knowledge within your team. Next, after you're done repackaging applications, add them to your infrastructure within, with SCCM or Intune or your preferred managed tool and start deploying them in small testing groups to see how they work. So let's talk about Microsoft Store. If you are a developer, Microsoft Store is a great way to distribute your application to the world and it's also easy to implement in SCCM or Intune. This allows for a straightforward way to get applications from the Microsoft Store and push them to the infrastructure. Uh, with a few simple clicks, you can search for the application, add it to SCCM, create an application and deploy it. If you don't want to use SCCM or Intune to deploy so store applications, you can always enable Microsoft Store for Business in your infrastructure to gain control over what applications are available to install from the store. Microsoft Store also gives you other advantages. For example, store applications are already signed by Microsoft, so you avoid all the certificate headaches that I previously mentioned. And store applications are guaranteed to work and no quality assurance is required for the packages. If you want any customizations, you can just add the modification package later in the infrastructure. Think of all the time you could save when repackaging and quality assurance and user acceptance tests are out of the equation. A very important point is managing customer expectations. With MSI, customers were used to demand uh, only certain features or specific start menu structures, uh, special, uh, special customization scripts and maybe other custom requests. MSIX doesn't support features. Uh, for the moment, start menu structure cannot be changed. Uh, drivers or other uh, similar specific options are not supported. So it's important to take customer demands into consideration when starting to work on a repackaged application. While your customers don't really need to know firsthand about the possibilities available within a technology, it's important to go through some key expectation and knowledge sharing about MSIX. It is also important to plan ahead and research the market to see how vendors offer their products. At the moment, there are three possible solutions on how you can get an MSIX application. The first one is where the vendor does not provide an MSIX application. Now, this involves taking the original sources, repackage them, test them, sign them, and deploy them to the infrastructure. The second option would be that the vendor provides the MSIX application separately from the Microsoft Store. Uh, this is a rare case, but it's an easier scenario where all you have to do is to create the application in the management tool like SCCM or Intune and push it to the users. Uh, also check if the certificate used by the vendor to sign the package is deployed in the infrastructure, otherwise the application will not install. And last, the final option would be that the vendor provides the MSIX application in the Microsoft Store. This is the simplest scenario of all because all the applications are digitally signed by Microsoft and the certificates are present on each Windows machine. Here you can choose to add a store connector to SCCM or enable Microsoft Store for Business in your infrastructure. As a last point, although it might not be needed in small infrastructures, for large companies you should consider consultancy. It's hard to find that technical lead candidate that will learn, inform and perform all the necessary tasks to handle the MSIX migration. In some cases, it might be best to talk with packaging consultants that have been in this industry for years and know their stuff. Consultants have been working with MSIX since the very beginning and have first-hand knowledge of possible issues and roadblocks as well as the most logical solution to address them. These are only some of the challenges that I've either encountered myself or I've seen my colleagues deal with them. There might be many more out there depending from company to company. My best advice to you would be to do your research and focus on real life scenarios. You are the only one that has a comprehensive overview of the environment, access to the history of the app implementations and knowledge 
of the specific needs of each user or user profile and first-hand understanding of business and operational objectives. So take into consideration all these factors and tailor your transition scenario to the one that best suits your unique situation. So that's it for this video. In the next one, we'll have a look on a top level comparison between MSI and MSIX. Until then, don't forget to check out our blog and user guide. I wish you all an amazing day and see you soon. Bye bye.